एवरीवन दिस एक अल्पना हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन व्हिच इज नोन एज दैट सो लेट्स गेट गोइंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व x2 y2 2x dx 2y dy 0 सॉल्यूशन गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन x square plus y square plus 2x into dx plus 2y dy equals to 0. Consider as equation 1, which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form, right? By comparing these two, we will get m and n. m equals to quotient of differential dx. x square plus y square plus 2x and n equals to quotient of dy. 2y. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is, not, is equals to Partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So now let's find the partial derivatives of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. Partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to dou by dou y of m equals to x square plus y square plus 2x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant is equals to Partial derivative of first term with respect to y plus partial derivative of second term with respect to y plus partial derivative of third term with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 plus partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y plus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0. This is equals to 2y. So we got partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to 2y. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do by do y of for n equals to, sorry, partial derivative of n with respect to x, not y. Is equals to, here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. Here 2y is constant, so partial derivative for constant with respect to x is 0. Okay. So it's clear that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. From this we can say that 1 is non-exact. Okay. Now, we need to find the integrating factor in order to Reduce the given non-exact equation to an exact equation. So, the given equation is non-homogeneous, right? Given equation is non-homogeneous and also it is not in some y into function of x, y to dx plus x into some function of x, y into dy equals to 0 form. Right. And also it is non-exact. So, if you look at n, partial derivatives of m and n, you're having 2y, 2y. 
So, you can use 1 by n into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. So, that will get a real number if y and 2 gets cancelled. Use 1 by n times dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. Since we have n equals to 2y and dou m by dou y is 2y and this is 0. So from this by looking at this we can say that y and 2 gets cancelled and will get a real number. Okay. This equals to 1 by for n equals to 2y into dou m by dou y is 2y minus dou n by dou x is 0 is equals to 2y by 2y where 2 and y gets cancelled right which is equals to 1 right which is a real number you can also name it as some k right so our integrating factor will be I have equals to exponential integral real number into dx is equals to e power integral for k equals to 1 into dx this is equals to e power integral dx e power integral dx is x. Okay. Here k is real number. We have named the real number as k. Therefore, integrating factor is or i of equals to e power x. Now, we can reduce the k then equation to an exact equation by multiplying it with this integrating factor. e power x into the given equation gives an exact equation. Consider as equation 2. Well, you can just write this as x squared plus y squared plus 2x into e power x dx plus 2y e power x into dy equals to 0. Then x square into e power x plus y square e power x plus 2x e power x into dx plus 2y e power x dy equals to 0 which is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form where m1 equals to quotient of dx, differential dx, and n1 equals to quotient of differential dy. Okay, by comparing these two, we'll get m and n. Sorry, m1 and n1. Where m1 equals to x square e power x plus y square e power x plus 2x into e power x and n1 equals to 2y e power x. The partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Then we can say that the reduced equation, that is equation 2, is exact. So let's find the partial derivatives of m1 with respect to y and n1 with respect to x. Firstly, we'll find the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y. This equals to dou y dou y of for m1 
x square plus e power x plus y square plus e power x plus 2x into e power x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of first term x square into e power x with respect to y plus partial derivative of second term y square e power x with respect to y plus partial derivative of third term with respect to y is equals to both are constants right x square and e power x are constants since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so x square e power x are treated as constants since we are having variable x here so partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 plus here e power x is constant so you can write this as constant into partial derivative of y square with respect to y plus here also we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so 2x and e power x are constants all the three are constants so partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 equals to e power x into partial derivative of y squared with respect to y is 2y is equals to 2y e power x Therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equals to 2y e power x. Now, let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Partial derivative of m1 with respect to x is equals to dou y dou x so for n1 2y e power x here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x so y will be treated as constant this equals to constant 2y into partial derivative of function e power x is equals to 2y into partial derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x right is equals to 2y e power x. Therefore, partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to 2y e power x. Both are equal, right? Therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to 2y into e power x. From this we can say that the reduced equation that is the equation obtained by multiplying integrating factor to the given equation is xz. Right. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So the general solution of equation 2 that is xz equation will be the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of an exact equation m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 is given by Integral over x, m1 dx, plus integral of terms of n1 free from x into dy equals to constant. Now let's find, oh, firstly we will evaluate the first integral, integral over x m1 dx. Here we will be integrating m1 with respect to x treating y as constant. 
is equal to integral of frame 1 x square e power x plus y square e power x plus 2x e power x into dx. You can write this as integral x square e power x dx plus integral y square e power x dx plus integral 2x e power x into dx is equal to integral x square e power x dx plus constant into integral e power x dx plus constant into integral x into e power x dx okay Now, using ILET rule and Bernoulli's formula, we'll evaluate first and third integrals. Okay, since we know that by Bernoulli's integral u dv equals to uv minus u dash b1 plus u double dash b2 minus u triple dash b3 plus so on. Right. Firstly, consider integral x square e power x into dx. Using ILET, we'll choose u and dv. So, algebraic comes first. So, x square will be your u and x parent comes last. So, e power x in, into dv, sorry, dx will be our dv. Okay. For u equals to x square and for dv equals to e power x into dx. Find u, u dash, u double dash. Firstly, we will find u dash. U dash, derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x, u double dash is derivative of 2x is 2 and u triple dash, derivative of 2, 0. Now, by integrating dv, we will get v. Integral dv equals to integral e power x into dx then we will get v equals to integral e power x dx is e power x now find see here we got u triple dash equals to 0 so we will eliminate all the terms from here okay right so we need to find up to v2 v1 equals to integral v that is integral e power x dx equals to e power x and v2 equals to integral v1 that is integral e power x dx equals to e power x. Now we can apply this formula is equals to uv uv into u dash v1 into u double dash v2 uv x square into v e power x minus u dash v1 2x e power x plus u double dash 2 into v2 e power x okay so this equals to e power x times x square minus 2x plus 2. Therefore, integral x square e power x into dx is equal to e power x times x square minus 2x plus 2. Okay. Now, consider third integral.
integral x into e power x dx. Again using highlight rule, we'll choose u and d. So firstly, algebraic comes first. So here x will be our u and exponent comes next. So this will be our db. Okay. Now, we need to find u, u dash, u double dash and u triple dash. For u equals to x, for db equals to e power x into dx. u dash equals to derivative of x is 1. u double dash equals to derivative of constant is 0. Since u double dash is 0, the terms from here will be neglect. Okay? We will neglect all these terms. Now, we need to find only v and v1. So, by integrating dv, we will get v. Integral dv equals to integral e power x into dx. Then, v equals to integral e power x is e power x. Now, find v1. v1 equals to integral v into dx. This is equals to integral e power x dx is e power x. Okay. Now, we can apply the formula. This is equals to uv minus u dash v1. uv minus u dash v1. This is equals to x into e power x minus 1 into e power x is e power x. This is equals to e power x times x minus 1. Therefore, integral x into e power x dx is equals to e power x times x minus 1. Now coming to integral m1 dx is equals to integral x square e power x dx is e power x times x square minus 2x plus 2 plus y square into e power x dx is e power x plus 2 times integral x e power x dx is e power x times x minus 1. This is equals to e power x times x square. Simply take e power x common from all these three terms. You will get x square minus 2x plus 2 plus y square plus 2 times x minus 1. This is equals to e power x times x square minus 2x plus 2 plus y square plus 2 into x 2x minus 2 ones are 2. Here plus 2 minus 2 gets cancelled and minus 2x plus 2x gets cancelled. This is equals to e power x times x square plus y square. Therefore, integral over x m1 into dx is equals to e power x times x square plus y square. Now consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n1 free from x into d1. So we are having n1 equals to 2y e power x which involves x. So Terms of n1 free from x is 0 into dy equals to 0. Now coming to the general solution of equation 1. Therefore, the general solution of equation 1 is the general solution of equation 2. Okay, The general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral e power x times x squared plus y squared plus the result obtained from the second integral equals to constant c. Then, e power x times x square plus y square equals to c is the required general solution. Okay, fine. So, we have seen a problem from a non-exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.